Yeah, so what is going on guys? I am Baku Sky. I am live right now at twitch.tv slash Baku Sky. Uh, we are doing a lot of grinding today, boys. And I just had to get this video out. Uh, so I had a little bit of time to play with it. Um, dude, like, if you love Omni, it just got better. I'm not even kidding. It literally just got better. So the build I have for you today, so... We're going Radiant Light with Powerful Friends to make sure that you keep your friends charged with light. This helps with their abilities because this is kind of a selfish Omni build. I'm not going to lie to you. It's really selfish because you yourself will be going invisible every chance you get without even wasting your melee. So essentially what we have here, like I said, Radiant Light, Powerful Friends, that's like a basic thing, right? Reaping Wellmaker. So every time that I go invisible and then kill an enemy, uh, when I pick up that Void Elemental Well, it boosts my my abilities, right? It regens them faster. And because it is a Void Elemental Well matching my Void subclass, it boosts all of them, right? So then we have the Essentials. We have Protective Light. We have Taken Charge. But then we have Utility Kickstart as well. So every time that I use my dodge... I get a little bit of it back, right? But then, this is why I love Void 3.0, boys. Like, literally, if you haven't build crafted yet or tried to, to make a first build, even if you, you go off of what this video says, you know, and, and you decide to make your own video, like, not your own video, but, like, your own build, I, I highly suggest it. This is, like, the best build crafting has ever been, and I cannot wait for Arc and Solar. I'm super excited about it. So what we have today, the reason why my stats are kind of funky is because of the three fragments I want. I'm going to have to grind for a little bit more gear and get back to the triple hundreds because you know how I am. I, I'm a fiend for triple hundreds, especially when it comes to my hunter. Um, although I am a warlock main. I just want to say that. I'm a warlock main. Sorry, I asked the cross. Yeah. Uh, so first we're going to use Echo of Reprisal, right? Final blows when surrounded by combatants grant super energy. It's kind of basic, right? It's whatever. But if you're doing the legendary campaign, you're always going to be surrounded by enemies. So it really doesn't matter. Uh, Echo of Persistent. Void buffs applied to you invisibility have an increased duration. This is huge, guys. Because I have noticed there's a significant difference between not having it and having it on. It's like a two it's like a two to three second difference. Uh, if I if I did that correct. So when you use the, the melee on yourself, it's about seven seconds. When you dodge, it's about nine seconds. And then Echo of Undermining. Your Void Grenade weakens targets. Guys, this is huge. Okay. This is huge for a couple of reasons. Because it, it not only applies a debuff to where bosses, such as like Sabathun, if you're fighting her, if you're fighting, I don't know, anything over your power level right now, it is going to help you and your fire team get that enemy dead quicker. And I, I found a lot of use in it. Unfortunately, there is that negative 20 discipline. But if you grind out your gear and you get the stats that you want, at the end of the day, it's fine. Because I still have 7 discipline, even with the, the negative 20. It hurts. It hurts my soul. Because I love my triple hundred build. But sacrifices need to be made, right? To, to get this done. So then we're going to go to the aspects. The aspects I chose was Trapper's Ambush and Vanishing Step. I have to remember. I have to like look because I don't necessarily remember them yet. But I know that they are phenomenal. So... For Trapper's Ambush, when you activate Quickfall to spend your melee charge, you dive on the ground. This is huge because, say if you're in a situation, right? You're in a, you're in a bad situation, your teammates don't have, like, your Warlock doesn't have his Rift, your Titan doesn't have his Shield, and they're surrounded by enemies. All hope is lost, right? Not really. Because if you jump up, and, like, if you're, like, far away, and, like, you jump up, you can Shatter Dive into them, causing them to be invis. But not only that, guys, literally, when you do that... It's gonna, it's gonna like literally stop your enemies from moving. It's gonna slow them down, giving them a chance to get their abilities back, get behind cover, and get back into the fight. Now, also, your smoke, your smoke bomb makes nearby allies invisible, right? Because without this, if I take this off, then I go to snare bomb, right? And then I have to snare bomb, so that doesn't help anybody, right? For this build specifically, now I will be making a snare bomb build that I think that you know will be good, but. Until then, I'm using Trapper's Ambush because I'm, I'm not, 
you know, just some, I'm a fiend for it. Vanishing step, I mean, it's pretty simple, guys. You, you dodge to get to make you invisible. So this means that you yourself, as a hunter, you have three different ways to, like, well, I mean, technically it's one way, but it's plus two, and then you have your dodging to get your invisibility. Now, the super I went with, you can do either deadfall or... Mobius Quiver. It really only it, it matters to you and your playstyle at the end of the day. Now me, I chose um I chose Deadfall because it it fires quick and it, it, it gets it done. You know what I mean? If you need to just pop it real quick and make sure that the enemies are tethered, but sorry, this is where it gets nuts. If you're if you're an XP grinder, bro, this is this trust me, this is the super for you. When you pop your super guys you create suppression. Now, what does suppression do? It suppresses your enemies, right? But it also weakens them. Now, where that gets super crazy, if you look at suppressive darkness, guys, hunters will be almost essential when it comes to weakening an enemy, suppressing an enemy. Like, it, I just can't wait. I can't wait. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like. If you want, stop by the stream. Let me know your ideas. Uh, if you have a build idea, I mean, shit, I'll, if, I'll try it. I don't care. Um, yeah, but that has been the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.